Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett at Parnassus Books. If you haven't read this book, it's new to you. It seems inconceivable to me that you might not have read The Color of Water by James McBride, but you know what? It came out in 1995. There's a really good chance you weren't born when this book came out. I have a really interesting story about this book. So in 1999, I spent a month in an Italian artist colony yeah, that's what happens when you're a novelist. And I met James McBride, who was there with his family. And he was, um, he was kind of standoffish. He was sort of in his own world. He tapped on the table a lot while he was talking, always in an interesting rhythm. And then at the very end of the month together, I was in a room with him that had a piano and he started to play the piano. And then he told me and my friend Patrick Ryan, who was also there, about his life. He was a very famous tenor jazz saxophone player who played with little Jimmy Scott. Cannot tell you how much I love little Jimmy Scott. And then I heard about this book, The Color of Water. So suddenly I thought that James McBride was the greatest guy in the world. And I went home and I read this book and I love it. And this is a book that I call a universal donor because you can give it to absolutely anyone. You can give this book to somebody who hasn't read a book in 10 years. You can give this book to somebody who's doing their dissertation in American literature. You can give this book to a kid. You can give this book to a grandmother. Everybody loves this book. And it's sold almost 3 million copies. And part of it is because it's always chosen for citywide reads. It's a nonfiction book about his family, his mother, and uh, his siblings, and uh, just the tremendous story of his life. It has really short chapters, it's compelling, it reads really quickly. Okay, so that's not even the part that's interesting. Anybody who is a famous tenor saxophone player, like he has scored films, he's won all sorts of awards in music, and then he writes this book, which sells almost three million copies. And then what does he do? He goes on to become one of the greatest fiction writers of our age, right? When we were in Italy, he was writing The Miracle of St. Anna, which was his first novel. But he went on to write The Good Lord Bird, which won the National Book Award and is one of my favorite books. And Deacon King Kong, which came out two years ago and won the Carnegie Medal, which is the highest award that's given in literature by America's librarians and a whole slew of other books. Nobody does that. Do you get that? Like the person who writes the famous memoir and actually in their heart wants to write fiction, they never actually do it, except Jim did it. And he did it better than anybody. So if you haven't read him, start here and go forward. Thanks so much.